Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So we're going to be showing you how to join the Gallup Express servers today. So first of all, you're going to want to go below this video and find the CBOB420 community discord. And then you're going to head over to this section here, how to join the server. So here is the information, how to join the server. And the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to open up the documents folder american truck folder and we're going to go into the config folder and we as you can see here you set g underscore max underscore convoy underscore size that needs to be set to 128 Normally it's just set to 8, so set it to 128, and then file, save, and then you can close this down. We're then going to head into the Euro truck one, and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to go into the convoy, uh, the config, and then we're going to look for the same line that we looked for earlier on, which is this line here, G max convoy size 128. Make sure it's set to 128 and click save. Once you've done this, we are then going to go and proceed to download the mods and the profiles. So under the how to join section, you will find. OK. You will find this first one that is not labeled to any game. This one here is for Euro truck and the one below is for American truck. And then once you've downloaded the profiles, you're then going to go to the server files channel. And the top section, as stated, is for American Truck. You're going to go to the Google Drive. You're going to go into the ATS public room. And then you're going to right click on the three dots and click download. Once it's fully downloaded, you can then close this window down. Then we're going to head over to get the mods for Euro Truck. So firstly, go to the Steam Community link here. Scroll down and click this button right here that says subscribe to all. Once you've done that, you can come out of this and then we're going to head into the second Google Drive for the Euro Truck mods. Same thing, right click on the three dots, download, let it fully download. Once that's done, it will be in your mod in your downloads folder. So once you have both the profiles and both the packs of mods in your downloads folder, you're going to want to do this. You're going to open up one window. You're going to drag it to the side. You're then going to right click on the yellow folder at the bottom, and then you're going to get your downloads folder. You're going to drag this to the opposite side of the screen. So we now split the screen in half. And we have on one side we have our downloads folder, and then on the other side we are then going to go into American Truck Sim. And I've already got my mods in, so what we're going to do is going to show you. So here is let's just move this along so you can see. So we're going to grab the mods for American Truck Sim. You're going to left click below and then you drag which will highlight them all. Or you can use control and A to highlight them all and then you're going to draw you're going to left click to drag and you're going to drop them over here. It's going to ask me if I want to override these files cuz I already have the mods in. You will not have the mods in unless you've already been into the server previously and you're updating the mods. In that case, you will click replace. And as you can see, we're now going to let this finish. And then we're going to head in to put the profile in.
it is important that if you are playing in the Gallup servers that you keep an eye on the Discord so when the mod updates come, you're not constantly messaging in there going, oh, where's the mods, blah, blah, blah. The mods are in the same place. They will be in the same place every single time once Benji updates the server. The mods will be in the same room in the server files channel. Right, so we've now done that. So we now step back and we're going to go into profiles and then we're going to look for the ATS profile, which is here. And then the same thing, you're going to drag it out of the downloads folder into the profiles folder. And again, I already have it here because this is a demonstration. You won't have it here, but I'm going to override just to show you. And then the same thing is going to happen for the Euro truck. So we're now going to grab the profile for Euro truck. And we're going to drag and drop. Again, you will not have this asking you to override. And then we're going to go into the mods folder. And exactly the same. You're going to highlight all of this, drag and drop. And again, if you've already been into the server previously and you're updating the mods, you will get asked to override. Click yes. If you're a new player, that will not come up on the screen. Right, so we're now set for both Euro Truck mods and Euro Truck profile, and also American Truck mods and American Truck profile. So we can close this down. We can now launch up Euro Truck. So as you can see, the profile is Gallup. Make sure that you don't have any mods activated, which I currently do. So we're going to take them out, confirm the changes. So we don't want any mods active before we head into the server. Let's say if it does have any mods active, make sure you turn those mods off. And then it will ask you to go into the game. You might get an exclamation mark to say that you had mods active and now they're not active. Just click continue. And as you can see, we're now going forward into the game. There is also a possibility when you load into the server for the first time that you may get kicked from the server and you may have to rejoin. Um, it happened on 149. I'm not sure if it's uh, happening on 150 because I'm already a player within the Gallup server, so I couldn't tell you if it does or it does not. So. As you can see, we're on a basic profile right now. We're on the Gallup Express profile. So you've got plenty of money up here and you've got a decent level. So we're going to then head into the convoy. So you're going to need to go to filters and make sure that you have sessions with mods ticked and then click save apply ok and then once you've done that we're going to then type in gallop and then when you can see the gallop server if you come over here to the star and you click it it means that it will favorite this server and it will always be at the top of the page so as you can see here, it is currently going through and saying that all of the mods are deactivated. This is what we want. It's not saying that there's any mods missing. There's not saying any mod mismatch. 
it's just saying that the mods are deactivated. So don't worry about this mod mismatch down the bottom, providing that all the mods here say deactivated and this button here highlights. You then click activate session mods. The server is now going to put the mods into the correct order automatically for you, where previously you would have to ask the server owner to tell you what the mod load order was. You don't need to worry about any of that anymore. The server will automatically configure the mods in the correct order for you. So as you saw, we clicked activate session mods. And then we confirm the mod activation. So it kicks us back to the splash screen. And then we need to go back into the convoy mode in a moment. Once this is loaded. And then once we're in there, we should be able to join the server. But like I said, if you join the first time and you do get kicked or disconnected from the server, then reconnect and you shouldn't have any more issues. Like I said, it was a known bug in 149. I'm not currently sure if it is a bug in 150. Right, so we're now in the server and you're greeted with a nice blue scanner right here. And then we're going to go back to the convoy. Do not be tempted to click this button right now. Let this load. So just give it a moment to load. Don't don't jump the gun. And as you can see now down the bottom, we have join convoy is, is illuminated and also we got the green light beside the Gallup Express public server. Like I said, remember to tick this, well click it so it goes orange, which means that the Gallup Express server is now one of your favourites and it will be at the top of the list. So now we can click join server. It's going to give us this saying that you're joining a server, with a session with large numbers, which means it's over the eight threshold that they originally wanted. The server can currently hold 80 players. Once we fill up the servers, then the servers will be able to go up to 128. But until then, the servers will be limited to 80. So you can click OK. And as you can see, we're now into the server. So if you click up here, this is going to show you who's in the server. So you can see me, Dr. Dave, and a guy called Tim is currently out on a load. But other than that, guys, that is how to join the Gallup Express servers. And like I said, that works for both Euro Truck and American Truck. So I know that I've only showed you launching up Euro Truck, but this works the same way. I showed you how to get the mods for both games. I showed you how to get the profiles for both games. And I've showed you what to do when loading into the game. Just mimic that over on American Truck and you shouldn't have any problems. But if you do have any problems, make sure you use the serv server help channel in the Discord. And we will be sure to help you if we can. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.